Good evening to everybody. This is the aftermath. This is kind of a pointless video to do because we didn't get any snow, but I am obsessive compulsive about it. So this is the aftermath video and it's December 28th, 2022 in the Big Bear, California area. We're just gonna do kind of our, our typical drive right now. Um, and uh, yeah, we aren't gonna head over to the village this time because traffic is an absolute nightmare. It's a shame, but Anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm still feeling like total poop, but uh, I think I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I don't have the whole, the whole body pain thing going on right now, so uh, yeah. So I think I'm doing a little better. All the love that you guys are showing me is helping me out, I can guarantee you that. Um, but yeah, so, but I have something exciting that I don't know why I'm gonna even say it because I'm gonna jinx us and it never ever happens but um starting i think friday we have like six or seven straight days of weather um and it it could be pretty significant if if everything pans out there's it wouldn't be out of the question to see three plus feet of snow so just keep that in mind and then also i did a little short time lapse of this last little storm like I always do, and it's like super short because I did it in 30 second intervals. But for the next storm, I'm gonna do it in 30 second intervals for the whole six or seven days. And uh, it should only be like a 10 minute long video, but it should be fantastic. I am so excited. I'd really like to go stay at like a hotel um, for those six or seven days, but I, I can't afford that. That would be nice to just have a, a different perspective like I used to do sometimes. Because sometimes I would go stay somewhere else to, to do the time lapse just for that, just for that reason. Um, but when it's gonna be six or seven straight days of, of snow and a little bit of rain, that's, uh, <clears throat> it just, it just wouldn't, wouldn't be affordable for me. But I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see Oh no, it'll definitely not work because we would be staying through New Year's, I believe. And that would not be cheap. That would be very expensive. But yeah, so this is the weather aftermath video. I know it's not much, but I'm really excited about the potential of what's coming, guys. It could be freaking amazing. This traffic is definitely not amazing. I'm not a huge fan of it. take some of the side streets I think I thinks we're going to have to do that so yeah we're gonna turn right here we're not gonna deal with this anymore driving like such kooks I'm telling you all right let's let's hang a Roscoe here and get by all these foos all these foos and here we go I'm gonna take Sherwood down a little bit such a beautiful time of night to record here it is really pretty especially through the camera so how is everybody <clears throat> I hope all of you who have been sick as well are getting better because uh I've been, I've been getting a lot of comments from a lot of people who have been sick and I, I think it's like the same thing I've, I've got. Everyone's issue started with a sore throat. And that is not good. So I'm hoping all of you are okay, the ones who aren't feeling good. We've 
got to be there for each other. But yeah, I really don't even want to be leaving the house. Like, I am so miserable. But I figured we would do something like this for you guys because I do love you guys. It's Big Bear Boulevard all trafficked up over there. And we're just going to avoid it. Yes, we're going to avoid it, yes. You know, so I watched a movie last night, uh, Pinocchio. It was the one that came out in 2020. The Italian, uh, all done in like Italy. and um, <clears throat> Pretty neat movie. Pretty neat movie. It's worth looking into if you all are Disney fans. Pinocchio, Bapo, Bapo, Pinocchio. <laughs> All right, so here's paradise. Hardly paradise, but we just avoided a whole bunch of traffic, so that's great. It looks like the cars are traveling at a decent rate of speed on Big Bear Boulevard now. So das ist gut, das ist gut, very good. Is das ist. Oh, come on. So we gotta wait for all these mo's. All these mo pies. Come on. Come on, little car. Come on, little car, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it, there you go. <sighs> That's really nice that we we avoided all that traffic. Just a little hop, skip, and a jump, you guys, and we were able to do that. So that's awesome. Coming back though, I'm just gonna take the, uh... you know what, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the whole back streets all the way into Moonridge when we come back. Since it'll be dark, it might not be too awesome though. Because you guys won't be able to see as much, but I always want you guys to be able to take the shortcut. So you're not wasting your time when you already come up here and get price gouged for everything. I want you to enjoy your time up here. So some of you told me that you were, you were checking out rates at hotels. Motel 6 was $350. Can you believe that? That's what we do to you up here. It's, it's horrifying. So <clears throat> once I can get my own Airbnb up here, not a, not a, like a, an Airbnb, but just a, a bed and breakfast type of a place with, I don't know, maybe 10 rooms or something. You guys will definitely get special, special rates. And I think I might only open it to you guys. Like, uh, it'll be like, um, a private club type of a thing where only the people on this channel get to stay there because I really want to make sure that you guys have a great time up here. It's so unfair. And I know it's a tourist town and all tourist towns are like that, where they just rip you off completely. And then you get treated like, <clears throat> like not well either. So um, I'll just apologize on behalf of all of them as well. So we're on Highway 38 now, you guys. And then we're just gonna turn around up here and head back. Turn right here on 
Montclair. This is a really nice trailer park in here. So we will flip a Yui at the end here and then Okay, so we're coming back here to Highway 38. If this person would go, we could go. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I'm just so frustrated because I'm so feeling like doggy doo doo. Doggy doo doo. It's the doo doo of the doggy. Feeling the doo doo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so you guys, I'm telling you right now, those of you who get a chance to come up here for the New Year's, holiday um maybe try and stay a, a day or two longer and you could witness some massive snowfall but i'm not counting my chickens until they hatch because this uh these forecasters are always so way off but when it shows six or seven straight days of good amounts of snow even if they're only right a quarter of one day, I'll still be happy. So we are coming up to Big Bear Boulevard and we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna take the shortcut, or not the shortcut, but the side route all the way back uh, once we get to Paradise. So I'll explain to you guys how that is. <clears throat> so right here, we're, we're on Highway 38. And then you're going to want to turn left onto Big Bear Boulevard, just like most of you do, coming up Highway 38 to get up to the mountains. And then the next street you want to turn left on is called Paradise. Because we really want to avoid all these people. Yeah, I wish this aftermath video could be a little more uh, aftermathy, but unfortunately it's not. It's just a nice drive through Big Bear. I'm telling you guys, I love my new car so much. I love my new car so much. It is such a blessing. Next left, we're going to turn left. On Paradise. It doesn't look like much traffic ahead of us, but it, it definitely is, I promise. And we're going to take this, all we're going to take this all the way through. Hang on, guys. Okay. I'm going to turn on the AC right here for a moment. Let's blast off the AC here. Come on, AC. Come blasting. That's the way. I am so excited to get into this big snowfall coming, though. The only thing I'm worried about, the only thing is damage to my car because every time we get big snowfall I always damage my car and the reason is because I get a bunch of snow caught in between the wheel wells and whatnot and it like pops pops my bumper off and does things like that and I'm not looking forward to that happening in this car but I'll do whatever it takes to record these videos for you guys um, we'll get it fixed somehow so but I'm not looking forward to that
Not one bit. No, 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 no. So yeah, as I said, we're taking back streets and we're gonna take them all the way till we get to Division Road and then we'll take Division into Moonridge. Well, we're gonna turn left here on Sawmill. This is one of this is the way we gotta go. Then this turns into Sugarloaf Boulevard once we get onto the other side here. like a roller coaster. And unfortunately on these back roads you get some people flying so you have to be really careful because there's a lot of up and downs like this where you can't see on the other side of the top of the little hills on the road like straight ahead can't see what's coming up here so you just got to be extra cautious and stay as far over as you can as people come flying through. <laughs> this is my wife's old house right here with the light the red light right there. That's where we used to spend a lot of our time. Yeah, we're not really hitting that many vehicles right now, so this is this is great. The boulevard is bumper to bumper right now, and we are golden. I gotta say, I love that. <laughs> I love it. Because I also have to use the restroom, so I want to get back as soon as I can. to Division Road, and then we're going to hang a left on Division to head into the Fox Farm area and Moon Ridge. This Sugarloaf Boulevard is a big deal in this town, especially for the locals, because it saves us a lot of time. Wow, perfect timing on the division. Look at that. So I've only eaten once in the past two and a half days. And I don't even have an appetite.
Okay, now we're on division. We're about to turn left onto Sugar Pine, and you stay on Sugar Pine for like 15 feet, you guys. And then you'll turn right on, I believe it's called McAllister. Yep, and the way I remember McAllister is I think of Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. <laughs> I know I'm a child, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And then we're going to turn left on Fox Farm, which I believe when we go to the left is a different name though. Let's see, I can't remember. No, because it still shows Fox Farm, but it does change into, I think, uh, um, what, what does it change into? Cougar or something like that. So many people. people taking these back roads right now it wasn't as bad on the other side of town but you can tell that there's a lot of people this this is heavy traffic kind of for this area now I've seen it where it's completely stopped but that's when we have huge amounts of snow and no one can drive at all it's just horrible yeah we're getting close to uh, well we're technically entering Moon Ridge right now and this is gonna let us off. We're gonna turn left on Elm Street. And then right on to Moon Ridge Boulevard after that. You're only on Elm Street for about 75 yards. And all those lights you see in the hills, that's Snow Summit. I think they're gonna start making snow again. So that's good for all y'all who wanna come up here and enjoy some skiing and snowboarding, it's going to be fun. Once again, I'm sorry for such a lackluster video. This is, I mean, we did have a storm, and so this is the technical aftermath video. But as I said, we didn't get any snow. Of course, they said we were gonna get about three or four hours of snow from about one until four in the morning. Of course it didn't happen. I mean, there's, why would we think any differently? <laughs> and we're coming up to Elm Street, so we're gonna wanna turn left here. Bada bing, bada boom. And here we go. Really bright new Moon Ridge Boulevard. It's really bright. And here it drops you off at the beginning of this roundabout. <laughs> the roundabout is such a joke. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys for cruising with me, even though it was kind of a boring video. I just I wanted to keep up what I do. I didn't want to miss it. Uh, so thank you. I love you guys a lot. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I'll do the time-lapse video tomorrow. It's not going to be anything special, but I always like doing the time-lapses. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. December 28, 2022 in Big Bear, California.